Conventional chemical farming, we talk about plant nutrition management. But in natural farming or organic farming, we talk about soil fertility management, not the plant nutrient management. So in soil fertility management, we manage the soil fertility rather than the plant nutrition. So we don't look at the plant, but we look at the soil. So in soil fertility management, the first and foremost thing is you know, the soil, soil itself. The soil is manual, soil is everything. So you have to uh, actually explore all kinds of possibilities uh, in actually extracting the maximum from the soil. So for that, so what will help you is the soil itself. No? So how do you utilize the soil to improve the soil fertility? So there is a technique, it's called soil inversion. And by knowingly, unknowingly, this ha is been in practice for years. So, so what soil inversion means, no? it's simple. To invert the soil, get the bottom soil up and the top soil goes down. So this happens in a cyclic manner every season. So, so the logic here is you know, in the top soil, so whenever there is rain and you irrigate the soil and you give water and all the soil, well, the nutrients and salts, they dissolve in the water, rainwater or the irrigation water, they go and get deposited in the subsurface, the bottom layers. So the bottom uh, uh, soil, soil in the subsurface is salty and the soil in the uh, top is uh, not so. So, so. so what we are doing by soil inverting, so we are bringing the soil, salty soil up and uh, the not so salty soil down. So this is happening every time. So, so after the next season, the rain, uh, whenever there is rain or irrigation water, so the, the, the salts that are there in the topsoil, they got leached down into the subsurface. So, so by simple inverting the soil, bringing the uh, subsoil up and uh, topsoil down, so you can actually manage the soil fertility because the salty soil is nothing but fertilizer. So the chemical salts you are adding into the soil are nothing but salts and they are called fertilizers. So the same salts are there in the soil subsurface. So the simply invert the soil and uh, uh, you can manage the soil fertility, the first and foremost thing. The second thing in natural farming what we can do is, you, know, you can mulch the soil. So you can actually cover the soil with biodegradable material. This biodegradable material, what it can do is, you know, it will create an environment, uh, a micro environment below the soil, below the mulch in the soil and where the microbes can actually uh, can generate, they can actually uh, proliferate in large numbers. So these microbial cycles are in hours. You know, every hour some bacteria they uh, actually generate and some bacteria will die. So in between the plant will absorb those nutrients. So, so the, the second most important thing is mulching the soil, creating an environment so that you, know, you can actually activate the biological cycles in the root rhizosphere, root zone. So the activating the biological cycles by providing the mulch so it will trigger nutrient cycles in the soil. So they will supplement the plant with the nutrients. And the third step in soil fertility management is you can add the liquid manures. So the biodynamic things like you, know, you can maybe jivamrutam or panchagavya or lactic acid or you know, whatever the vermi wash and uh, that amrut gel. So whatever the biodynamic liquids we have uh, preparing natural farming. So those can be actually sprinkled on the mulch on the soil surface. So, so that no, so they will also supplement or they add to the uh, uh, the biomass. So, and biomass decomposes faster, and uh, directly also they can also give nutrients to the plants. So, in soil fertility management, three most important things are fundamentally the soil inversion and mulching. Third one is uh, enriching them with uh, uh, bioliquids. 